Holy guacamole. I, I can't, I mean, I can't even believe this happened. I suppose people who follow Florida politics closer may, may have been less surprised, but Ron DeSantis has just redefined how to fight the culture battle. And it's by no longer being on the defensive and moving to the offensive because what he just did to Disney, I, I mean, this is massive. And it's all because Disney decided to get political. Remember a couple weeks ago when they had the massive walkout of ones of employees over the uh, Florida's anti-grooming legislation? And then Florida decided, um, hey, we're going we're gonna to get involved in the political discourse. We're going to make sure that um, everyone knows that we stand against our government, you know, the government that gives us massive tax breaks, uh, and we want to speak out against them. We're going we're gonna to get involved in gender politics and all this kind of stuff and talk about we're going to use the, we're going to call it don't say gay, even though it's not called that. We're going to get involved in all of that. And uh, Ron DeSantis just wasn't having it. He was unintimidated by a corporation in his state, by all accounts, that gets enormous tax benefits, telling him how to do his job, telling him that they were more important than the people that voted for him, his constituents, constituents. Jeez, can I talk? Uh, and, and, and Disney's been awfully quiet over the past mm, two weeks or so, ever since the pointless walkout that none of their employees actually participated in, uh, and all their pandering on Twitter and, and, and tweets and, and memos, they've been awfully quiet. Do you know why they were quiet? It's because Ron DeSantis at that time said, you know what player? Cool. You want to play politics? I'm down to play politics. I'm going to remove your special tax benefits. Uh, and tax status in my state that you've enjoyed for a billion years that allows you to operate in the manner of profitability that you do. Suddenly they were quiet. And you would think, okay, maybe that's enough. Maybe now, like, they'll back off or whatever. Didn't matter. Ron DeSantis, a man on a mission, says he doesn't even care. He knows Disney can't pick up and move. He knows. Now, Florida lawmakers just voted to end Disney's tax privilege and self-governing status. Florida's Republican-led Senate approved a bill on Wednesday looking to eliminate Disney's special tax district that has allowed the company to self-govern its own land. The Florida House is also expected to vote in favor of legislation after Republican Governor Ron DeSantis announced on Tuesday that lawmakers will be making will be considering termination of all special districts that were announced in Florida prior to 1968. That includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which is the Disney one. Special tax, tax district allows Walt Disney Company wide ranging autonomy, including over local police and fire departments on the land its theme park sits on in Orlando. It currently saves the company tens of millions of dollars a year. The legislation is looking to eliminate that arrangement. The Republican-backed move is the latest in ongoing clash between DeSantis and Disney over the re recently enacted legislation, by the way, which passed and is in place, which banned instruction related to gender identity or orientation in kids first through third grade. This is a massive penalty a massive get woke, go broke moment. And, in take, and, and you should take a minute to instead of applauding, hit that thumbs up button on the video and subscribe. Things are shifting. This in the Wall Street Journal. The measure still needs to pass the GOP-led House, which it is expected to approve it. Republican Ron, Governor Ron DeSantis, who called for lawmakers to consider such a bill in a special session he convened this week, has made it clear that he will sign it. The measure potentially delivers a blow to the company's operations in the state. The special district created in 1967 and known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District exempts Disney from a host of regulations, 
and certain taxes and fees related to emergency services and road maintenance. It saves Disney tens of millions of dollars a year, according to a person familiar with the company's franchises, I'm sorry, finances, who studied the issue over a decade ago. On Wednesday, Disney declined to comment on the bill. Oh, oh, Disney, you don't have anything to say now? You don't have anything to say? You had so much to say about the anti-grooming bill. This is what it takes to win. This is what it takes to, to lead. Now, I'm not saying I endorse Ron DeSantis for president or anything like that, but this is the type of actions that I'm not necessarily against. Now, it's a slippery slope where your government is enacting you know, a penalty for speaking out against it on a private business. I feel like it's a little different when it's Disney, though. If he had enacted this on Ed's, Ed's Funko Pop shop, I'd probably feel a lot different, but I'm not exactly going to simp for Disney or Amazon or uh, Walmart or any one of these other Pfizer or any of the other super huge mega corporations that enjoy billions in tax breaks every single year. Well, a guy like me, I pay almost 50% tax. I should probably move. I'd give myself a huge raise. Why do you think all these internet personalities live in Texas or v Vegas? I think I could use the sun. Texas is getting a little overcrowded from Californians, though. Colorado's nice, but it's pretty darn woke, too. Vegas seems like the place for me. I think Vegas seems like a good relocation spot for me. But, yeah, I'd never leave my home state, even though they completely bend me over a barrel on Texas. But anyway, this is what it takes to win. People on the other side, the like the non-woke agendaists, all we've been doing is counteracting, reacting, reacting, reacting. Now what Ron DeSantis has done is changing the game. He's, he's, he's actually putting a counterpunch into our, into our arsenal against these woke corporations that have way too much power in our government. Way too much power in our federal government. Way too much power in our state and local governments. This is some real penalty. And DeSantis doesn't care. Disney is not going to relocate. Where are they going to go? Texas? <laughs> the progressive state of Texas? Or they can go to New Mexico? It's literally, it would literally be impossible for them to relocate. Okay, they could shut down. Sure. Florida still has enormous amounts of tourism. Tons of other things to do. The beaches, the, the weather, the, the, uh, the ladies, the, the, the nightlife. There's all sorts of family stuff there too, not just Disneyland. Tons of it. And, and they'll be fine. This is, this is actually going to be a major shot across the bow. Now, Republicans aren't expected to vote on it, are expected to approve it, and it will take effect on June 1st. Meanwhile, California Governor Gavin Newsom weighed in on the DeSantis move, on the company calling the move authoritarian. This is what business friendly means. We protect free speech in California. We help our businesses grow, thrive, and invent the future. Punishing businesses for speaking out against hatred is the move of an authoritarian regime. Well, I mean, m more power to you, Gavin Newsom. You know how you know how every time there's one of those fancy award shows and the police have to relocate thousands of bums uh, so that you can pretend to the world that your city isn't overrun by drug-addled homeless people? Why don't you take care of them instead of worrying about what's going on in Florida? You know, if you tax Disney a little bit more, you could probably have some really nice uh, services for your uh, insane amount of homeless. A message, you know, a fact that you spend a lot of money to try and cover up. Now, I love my California viewers, but I think that they would agree that you go down to LA, it ain't, it ain't pretty. It isn't a place I'd want to live. That's a fact. I, you can miss me with these like roaming gangs of bums attacking people walking to their car after work. You can miss me with that. 
So maybe Gavin Newsom should just clean up his own backyard before he worries about what anyone else is doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.